Hey everyone, welcome to Berlin and welcome to the brand new BMW 5 Series and the new BMW i5. By now you might have seen my intro videos with the cars, I've talked about the design, but there is another interesting feature that will come to the new 5 Series and to the i5, and that's a world premiere, it's called the Air Console Games Inside the Car. But before we hop inside and talk about that in particular, let me tell you a little bit about the livery on this car because it's quite unique, quite interesting and actually very, very cool. As you can see, it's got a really nice combination of colors and of course there is a meaning behind this. You can see right here this dot matrix which really resembles the 8-bit games. So pays homage to the iconic 8-bit games that we used to play when we were younger. Of course, if you look to the side, you have those circles right there, and there is a meaning behind them as well because they're meant to resemble a game console. Of course, the thumbs that you play around and do all of that. Of course, we talked about the matrix, the dot matrix, and the pixels right there, but there is one more element paying homage to gaming and that will be this particular shape right here which essentially resembles the X on the game console. So that's a quick overview of what we have here but naturally it's more interesting once you go inside and talk about the technology behind this and also to play some actual games. So with that being said I'm gonna be joined by a product manager from BMW. He's gonna talk about this experience and then we're gonna play some games. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so now it's the fun part to actually play some games, but before we do that, I'm actually joined in the car by a product manager from BMW responsible for in-car gaming, Rutger. He's going to tell us a little bit about the console and what we're doing here and how to connect the controllers and how it works and all of that. So that will be the fun part. So thanks for having me. So tell me briefly, how does it work? Well, it's very easy and it's very intuitive. So basically, how the process works is you take out your, your phone. Okay, so take and you, my phone out. You go on the camera, okay. then you just scan the code, and then you click on the link, and then it will automatically lead you towards the app, and you will be the master and will be able to control the games. There we go, the app menu opens, and you can go ahead and select the game of your choice. So basically, you have two options. You can either have the Air Console app downloaded, exactly. you can do it through that, or you will open up a browser exactly. and then with the code you will automatically connect to the car. Basically. You already have the app, which makes the controlling even easier, okay. but if you don't have it, you can also just use your browser and the code will link you directly towards your browser so you can set it up easy and quick. Gotcha. So, Ruger, so compared to other competitors, basically, you don't need a, a gaming console to carry with you inside the car, and you're essentially not using the touch screen either, right? right. So this is your right. gaming controller, basically your phone, and it could be an iPhone or an Android? Yes, it doesn't matter, because as long as your phone supports the browser, you can go ahead and play. Okay. And also, you can play here from the front, but if you're seated in, in the back, you can also join. We have a great bunch of games that also allow multiplayer, so there it's also possible for, for anyone sitting on the back seat of the car to also join in and play. So right now you have about 15 games available. Correct. And how many players can play at the same time? Um, as much as are inside the car. So we allow the bigger the to, car, the, the more, bigger the part, the, the more, more people players. they can play. Got exactly. It. And do you need an internet connection to play the game? You do need an internet connection, but it does not have to be 4G or 5G. Just any internet connection will suffice to play the game. Gotcha. So how does it really work? So basically, the phone talks to the cloud and then comes back to the car, basically? Right. So the gaming platform runs inside the car on the head unit, and it's connected via the, the SIM card towards the cloud. Now, if you use your phone to steer, and for instance, you press a command, okay. then you will see that instantly it goes into the cloud, and the cloud sends it back to the car, and so you can control the game. So there is no latency. There is no latency at all. Got you can it. see how quick it works. Okay. And now, of course, people are going to be asking uh, which cars are getting the gaming console. So right now we're in the 5 Series, and that's powered by iDrive 8.5. Will this be available on iDrive 9 as well? Yes. It will also be available on iDrive 9, and it will also be available to all other cars that can upgrade from iDrive 8 to iDrive 8.5. Got it. So as long as it's been upgraded and they can do the OTA to get the gaming experience inside the car as exactly. well. Exactly. It will be made available over the air as an update. Okay. And now, of course, another question when it comes to pricing and all of that. Is it standard on the 5 Series or do you have to pay for it? On the 5 Series, as long as the car is connected, it is standard. Okay. 
and um, can we play in the back seat or not yet? I will leave that open to the question mark. We're okay. currently working on it. I mean, the five series, we only have the fronts play, right? Okay. In other models, of course, it is working product. Got it. And um, before we actually play, I do have the final question. What would be the best use case? Like, why would somebody want to play this game? What would be like an ideal use case where say, okay, now we can play the game? Because I'm assuming you can only play while the car is being static. Yes, yes. That's actually a regulatory requirement that you play when the car is static. Of course, with uh, the increasing number of electric vehicles, mm -hmm. it would be relevant for people to play while the car is charging, for instance. Okay. If you're on your way, you have 20 minutes, you play a few rounds, or also if you're waiting to pick someone up, there are more and more use cases we see where people actually want to be entertained inside the car. Okay, perfect. All right, so now it's the fun part. So which game should we play? Which one is the most popular? Ah, uh, there are a few games. It depends on what you like, really. But one of my favorite games is absolutely Music Guest. So okay. if you want to go... Let's try that first and we'll try maybe a football game after that. So yeah, Music sure. Guest, okay, yeah, music so select guess. that. And you just okay. click OK. Click OK. I'm also going to join. Okay, perfect. So I'm to a two-player experience so I can see my name there. Basically, that's exactly. mine and then it's waiting for a second player. Exactly. Got it, perfect. So All right, you join as well. You are the master controller, so you so can I'm the, just so go ahead. So the first one that connects, it's the master controller. Exactly. Got it, exactly. perfect. So I do select, new game. All right, so you have to explain to me how it works. Yeah, of course. I mean, you just press select. I guess select the, that today's top 50 is good. Perfect. We can go ahead and play a few rounds. Sure. And then get ready to guess. And you will see that the, the controls in your screen start to change. Now, let's exactly, turn let's turn up the volume, get ready. And then we're gonna hear the first song. Now, when, once you're ready, you just select any of those games. Nope, missed that one. Okay. Both wrong. <laughs> so, Down under. All right, let's see. Oh, Ed Sheeran, of course. Terrible at this. All right, let's try again. This is pretty fun, actually. Yes. Ah, you That's got one. it. Before. That's points for me. <laughs> Can tell I'm not very good at music. So it also gives you like a message. If there's like a bad connection detected, then yeah. it will tell you, hey, you know, so might be is, a little bit this, slower. So this in this case would be on your phone because you can see that the game just keeps running, mm -hmm. and we can also still select any of the answers. No latency detected, right. so but it just gives you the information that maybe your phone is uh, is not perfectly connected. Got it. All right, let's do the. Um, Golazzo? Yes, I would also nice. say let's Golazzo. try Golazzo. Nice. So football, soccer. Yes. Soccer. All right. Now I'm, I will give you the hint. You want to change the layout of okay. your screen? Sounds good. Because the controls are also going to change. Perfect. It's loading. Yeah. And then uh, for this game, uh, have you played it before? I have not actually. Okay. Never did. So on the left of your uh, screen, you will mm -hmm. be able to drag the arrow around. Okay. And that will be your player moving. First, please select VS match. So that's the one on the yeah, right. Exactly. And then we both have to pick a side. I'll go right, you can go left. So this one? Yes. Perfect. And then press play. play. Now pick a team. Uh, I'm gonna do Germany, how about that? Okay, you can go Actually, Germany, let's I'll do go Brazil. US versus Germany. Ah. Let's do that. <laughs> so how do I change to so just you, click you, on that? You just go ahead and I see. press on the, on the sides. How about we do US versus? You have the advantage, man. I can also pick a different one. No, no, let's do US versus Germany. Germany? Okay, yes. then, I, then I go for Germany. Good. I know you're, you're from the Netherlands, but let's do US yeah, versus Germany. Okay, All okay. Right. okay. Play. play. Perfect. So on the left side, yes, I'm going to control will see, it. Yes, okay. you will see an arrow pin that you can drag around. And then um, with under rest, so now for now for me it's tackle and switch. Okay. But you will also be able to shoot or pass, okay. respectively, right? So let's see which one is me. I'm the. Okay, got it. So now you have the ball, basically. Yes, now you have the ball. You have made an interception. I'm going to tackle you. Uh, so now it's a throw in. Throw in for you. Uh, throw in with a pass, probably, right? Yeah. Oh, that was call. close. All close, right. Close. I think I'm starting to get a hang of it. Yeah, I think so too. Shoot. 
<laughs> it's going with the keeper. Ooh. Oh, missed that one. Okay. Whoever scores the first one takes takes the win, so. Okay. Alright. See, that's it. Nice. Very cool actually. Entertaining. All right, so basically that's how it works, and you can play it for as long as you want to, right? Exactly, so no... you can change the settings, of course. Gotcha, so you have different settings, yeah. you go back a little you bit. You can do so a quick game see. or a longer one. Gotcha, and then that's how oh, you exit. You like it. Yes. Got it, perfect. All right, so you said about 15 games, and essentially, let's go to the main screen. So you can have like a, this is like a one plus player game. Exactly. For here. this one, you need at least you two would players. Need at least two players, Got exactly. It. Perfect. Because uh, they're designed to play with multiple people. We have the war deal. But which is all cool. games, all games are also um, optimized to be able to play in multiplayer mode. So you can play Got any it. game alone or with multiple people, Got except it. for the two plus player games, which are just multiplayer games. Got it. Okay, so essentially everything that you do, it has to be done through your phone. There is no touch screen. Exactly. You can't really do that. Exactly. Can you select the games by touching the screen or it's still going to be have to be it's, done? It's, gotcha, it's, no, so it doesn't no, work. No, it doesn't, Dirk. It gotcha. just gets you back okay. to the main menu. Perfect. But um, okay. there's only phone controls. Sounds good. So then essentially everything plays through the car speakers, of course, that's cool. And then since there is an interaction bar, I'm assuming that maybe sometimes in the future we might see something where you're getting some, if you score a goal, you might be getting some flashing lights and all of that, you're which would be quite cool. I can only, uh, I hear what you're saying and I would keep it at maybe <laughs> You can confirm nor deny exactly. basically. Okay, exactly. sounds good. Exactly. All right, so thank you, Rudiger. This is really, really cool. And I guess we'll be playing a lot Lot more later today there'll be a lot more people coming here so maybe there'll be some competitions going on absolutely and um is there any competition for bmw where people can actually submit their ideas for in-car gaming because i guess the opportunities are endless i mean you can yes, really do a lot of things absolutely what we're thinking right now is we want to be able to create games that are really designed for the in-car vehicle mm -hmm. use case and um for that purpose we have um we have the, currently an, an in-car game competition going on, okay. where until the 2nd of June, uh, developers can actually submit their ideas for in-car games, and then um, the best ideas will get awarded prize money to actually fully develop those games and see their games getting live launched in our cars. Got it, perfect. Well, thank you so much, I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. So once again, this is the gaming experience inside the new BMW 5 Series and i5, of course, an iDrive 8.5. It will come to other cars in the future, so we will have a chance to experience this. Hopefully it comes to the 7 Series soon, because with the theater screen in the back, that will be really cool, because you have a lot of screen there, 32 inches, I believe, in 8K. So I think the experience is even better than on the front screen in the car. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.